Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Plant Based Storm. I'm Stormy, and this is a place where I love to share about my high carb, low fat, whole food, no oil, plant based diet, and all the things that go along with that. And today I've got a really special video because I'm talking about how to save money on your grocery bill, actually, how to cut your grocery bill in half for 2021 and I've got some tips and tricks that I use on a regular basis that will blow your mind. So are you ready? I'm excited. Let's do this. Some of the culprits that are working against us as far as food storage are air, moisture, temperature, and light. So there are some things that we can do to help us store our food better after we've purchased it so that we can get the most out of it. You want to get the maximum shelf life off of your fresh food as much as you want to get the maximum shelf life off of your long-term storage things like whole grains and um, beans and things like that. So let's talk about some of the things that I like to do in order to keep our food as fresh as possible for as long as possible in the refrigerator. So the refrigerator is a little bit bare because I really need to go grocery shopping. But one of the best tips that I can give you is to take your produce drawers and align them with flour sack towels um, because what I was just talking about a while ago was that moisture was one of the main culprits to destroying our foods before that we can eat them and having a flour sack towel or some other light towel like this inside of the drawer draws moisture away from the vegetables and keeps them good for a lot longer and I do that in both drawers and you can even use paper towels if you like but the thing about using the flower sack towels is that it is not only better for the environment but it is better on your budget and your wallet because they are reusable so that is a win-win some things i will just take paper towels around these have been in here since thanksgiving and they are still looking pretty fresh considering they've been in here that long so that was at the end of november and it is already december 11th so that is a really good as far as storage so Keeping the moisture away from your vegetables is a huge tip. Um, now, carrots do like it to be a little bit moist. This is the only thing that I actually leave in a plastic package. But for any other produce that I put into this refrigerator, I will take it out of the plastic wrap. And I've got a whole stalk, well, what we haven't used of it, of... Brussels sprouts right here and they look a little bit rough you know but whenever you take them off you can peel these layers back and use that underneath whenever you go to cook it because it's still nice and fresh underneath so this will last you a little bit longer so that Brussels sprouts do like it cold but they don't like to be like freezing all the time so that's why I wrap them up same thing for the celery and I've had this celery in here since Thanksgiving as well now this is getting a little bit limp so I have a few options I can take some of this and put it into a soup or some other dish that I would cook this down anyway or I can take it and chop it up and put it in my freezer so that is a one thing that I like to do to save from having to throw that away. Another thing to notice is that the milk products are in the back of the refrigerator because it stays a whole lot cooler back here than it does on the door. So don't put your um, milk products in your door because it gets opened a whole lot more and it stays a lot warmer than what it would if it was just back here and that helps it last a lot longer. Another tip that I can give you is for your yogurts and your um, sour cream and stuff like that is to store them upside down and they will last a lot longer because it creates a airtight seal and that just really helps to make it last a lot longer so that it doesn't go bad as quickly. And I like to store nuts in the refrigerator and um, in the freezer as well. So if they've been sitting in here a little bit too long, I'll go ahead and put them in the freezer. A really good tip for mushrooms is to put them in a brown paper sack and then roll it down. 
always label what it is and then put it in the refrigerator like this. This allows the mushrooms to breathe and it keeps the moisture away. But like we've already said, moisture is a major culprit in making food go bad faster. So this is an excellent way to keep your mushrooms fresher for longer. If you leave it in the package covered in the plastic wrap, they're just going to get slimy like really quickly. So this will get you probably close to a week with mushrooms as opposed to them going bad in a day or so. So this is a really good tip. And also I like to buy my mushrooms whole and a lot of other vegetables whole and chop, chop them up myself you're paying for the vegetable and the container and the work so if you just go in there and buy the vegetable and cut it up yourself you can literally save half so that is two really good tips and you can also store okra this way um, it keeps the moisture away from it but allows it to breathe so that it doesn't go bad nearly as fast for broccoli and cauliflower, I'm going to take this and put it in out of the plastic container. This just came in my imperfect box and I haven't had a chance to unpack it yet, but um, I'm going to put it in the container and I am going to line this with paper towels since it's just a small uh, portion um, instead of like the big whole drawer. And the reason you want to put the broccoli and cauliflower in a container by itself is that it releases an ethylene gas and it makes other vegetables go bad. But if you put it in a container like this and wrapped around with the um, paper towels and then put one on top, it's going to wick away moisture just like everything else we've talked about and it's going to keep the gas contained by itself so that your other vegetables will stay fresher longer and won't be um, ruined by the gas that this is going to emit. Okay, I've shared this tip before in one of my uh, videos and I can link this um, as far as because it was a food prep video and showed how I stored some other things, but this is one of the best tips that I can give you for lettuce and um, things like spinach that you want to keep fresh and you want to buy like a big bunch of it and not have to keep going back to the store is to Use another flour sack towel or some other lightweight towel and line a big bowl with it. And I've already rinsed my um, spinach off and I'm going to put it into this bowl and then put the towel on top of it and store it just like that. And again, it's just going to wick the moisture away. It's going to allow it to stay cool enough that it's not going to go bad. And you're going to be so surprised at how long this is going to last you compared to just putting it in the refrigerator and it going bad before you can eat it, which is so frustrating because it's not cheap to buy the big containers of lettuce um, and spinach and different things like that so that you can have salads or use them in soups or whatever it is that you're going to use for your family and it only to go bad and that money just go down the drain that is the most frustrating thing ever so i rinsed all of this off and it's been drying and i'm just putting it right into this container that i just showed you like that and then i'm going to fold this over and put the lid on and now it is going to last us quite a while. So another tip that I can give you um, as far as shopping for your pantry is whenever you go into the store and you see that something that you use all the time is on sale and you know that you can put that away and use it for another day. Say something like, I don't know, maybe they have brown rice for sale and you use brown rice every single week. Then you want to go ahead and buy one if you needed it for this week and then go ahead and buy at least two more for later down the road and just put it in your storage because that's going to save you money in the long run. It's a staple, something that you use all the time. So if you see any of your staples on sale, Go ahead and buy one now and two later. So another great tip is if you are going to be using something like vegetable broth and you don't know um, if you're going to be able to use all of it, go ahead and write the date on it that you open this and 
put it in your refrigerator and that way you can look on the carton and it should tell you on here how long you have to use this if it's in the refrigerator after opening, which is typically 10 to 14 days. And this one says to use within 14 days. So now you know when you opened it. And if you're not gonna get to this within 14 days, another great thing that I love to do and keep to keep from wasting this is to take this and pour it into an ice cube tray and freeze it. And then you can put it into a container in your freezer. You have little ice cube sized things of vegetable broth that you can just throw into your pot whenever you're water sauteing or anything like that. And then you have no waste, which is so awesome. Something else that I really love to do is after I've cut up my veggies, I save the ends and scraps and all of the peelings. Um, there's some things that you don't want to put in this, but I've got like, this is for making a homemade vegetable broth. And that way you're using every bit of the vegetable instead of throwing it away so it is excellent it is like zero waste use of vegetables which is something that I'm trying to work towards we got carrots and onions and celery and garlic and the garlic paper and the onion paper in here and then there's also I've got potato skins and um, things like that so you don't want to put citrus in here and you don't want to put things like broccoli or um, Brussels sprouts because those are going to leave like a not so good flavor in your broth. So anything that you would regularly put in your broth, go ahead and save it, freeze it, and then you can make a broth. And I've been thinking about doing a homemade vegetable broth video. If you're interested in that, please leave a comment below and let me know that you would like to listen to that. And I will put one together um, because it's really easy and it saves money and it's so delicious whenever you make your own broth. So that's another great tip that you can also do besides um, storage and um, wrapping things up is that just set a budget. I know this seems like so like, of course, you should totally do that. But you should totally do that because we uh, tend to spend a ton more whenever we don't work within the frame of a budget. And what I like to do is $100 per person in my family or 10% of our income. You can do either one. And if you're really strapped for cash because 2020 has not been so kind to you, you can even try to do 5% of your budget. But those are definite, definitely good places to start. And then I add in an additional $50 because my commodities like toilet paper and paper towels and things like that um, get added into the grocery budget as well because it's just a convenient time for me to pick those up. So we are doing $350 per month for our family and I will split it up by the week and really work inside of that budget. So if I need something, then I try to get it in that $100 budget and if it doesn't fit, then I will go to my shelf, my pantry, and look and see what I've got, my refrigerator, and figure out another way to make a meal work within my budget. So um, that's one of the biggest tips that I can give you. Another great tip is to stick to one day a week instead of going to the grocery store multiple times and getting the things that you need, even toilet paper and stuff like that because what ends up happening is that you go in for one item and you come out with 20 more items and now your budget has been blown. So really set a budget and just go one time a week and that is going to probably be the biggest tip of this whole video is to just do those two things and you are going to be amazed at how much of a difference it will make in your grocery bill. A really great tip that you can do is to order your groceries online or use a um, delivery service like Imperfect Box. So we are really enjoying Imperfect Box because they are um, keeping food from going to waste that would not normally be sold in a grocery store, which is great because it's just probably a little bit ugly, which is fine and this is I have no affiliation with Imperfect Box it's just something that I have uh, enjoyed using and I do have a referral link below if you're interested in it if not no big deal that's fine 
too, but you could also order your groceries online like with Walmart or whatever your local grocery store is in town that allows you to do that. And the really cool thing about that is that you have a running total on the screen right in front of you and so it really helps you stay within your budget and you don't go through the store and pick up impulse buys and so I hope so another really fantastic tip uh, for using up sad little vegetables is at the end of the week whenever I'm getting ready to get my inventory ready for grocery shopping and meal planning and that kind of stuff I will look in there and see what kind of vegetables I have that I need to get rid of and what can go into a soup and if any of them are droopy sad and pitiful then i will cut them up and throw them in the soup and they get used up and another thing is that your freezer is your friend because there are so many things that you can freeze in order to keep them from going bad you can freeze bread you can freeze tortillas you can freeze all kinds of fruits and vegetables especially like berries so if you've got a thing of fresh berries in there put them on a tray lined with parchment paper pop them in the freezer and then put them in a container or a bag and they will stay separated and great and ready for you to eat um, a whole lot better than what they're going to just ruin in the refrigerator before you can get to it you can do that with strawberries and um, you can do that with so many different fruits so if you are not sure just look it up real quick see what how you can freeze it and you can do that with vegetables I love to do that with peppers and onions and um, you can do it with celery and um, you can freeze broccoli and cauliflower and you can freeze zucchini so if any of that's going to go bad and you can't put it in a soup or you don't want a soup then just cut it up real quick and freeze it but another thing to keep in mind is whenever you freeze stuff like that a lot of times the texture is going to change so just know that you're probably going to want to use that in a recipe that's going to be cooked and you're not going to eat it like as it was raw so that's a really great tip and a, a money saving tip that will go a long way and keeping you from wasting anything hope that this video is helpful to you in some way and that this is something that you are going to implement for 2021 and let's work together to not only eat healthy but to make a healthy budget so that we can go about and do other things beyond what is in the kitchen and if you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe it helps other people find this content and as always thanks so much for watching mm -hmm.